YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here, back in the Sassanid campaign. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try and push this time against the uh, Africans who are uh, out here causing trouble for one of my uh, puppet states. Oh, didn't realize this was all desert attrition through here, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, at least there's a little bit right here. Desert ambush. So, yeah, we took a little bit of attrition, but uh, it looks like they have suffered a little as well. They have an onager. Lots of Persian cataphracts and then some Persian levy. Um, so they actually have a decent little troop here. The only thing we could levy more of here is Armenian spears, which may not hurt. Let's levy up a couple of them. Uh, and then let's see if there's any other good mercenaries up here for hire. None at the moment. But uh, I wonder if we can levy any more of the Armenian spears. Nope. You recruit the maximum of units into this army. Oh, I've got 20. 20 out of 20. My bad. So yeah, we, we, we've got enough army to face these guys if we have to, so we'll see if they attack us whenever we go through a turn-in. Let's head back to our um, uh, building browser, though, here and kind of see what we need to do next. We need to repair what we just destroyed in Cappadocia. We can upgrade this farm here. So, Tessaphon does have a cavalry corral, so let's build a horse breeder and use that. Um, let's go ahead and actually trash this uh, temple building here and turn it into something that I feel like is going to be more worth my while. As done, barracks. Let's see kind of what we get here. Svar and cavalry and Indian elephants. That's cool. And we can eventually get cataphracts and immortal cavalry out of this uh, line. We have to have iron and do some research, but that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Getting elephants might be fun. Oriental Harbor. Yeah, because we can replace that with a sanitation building. Sanitation's actually pretty good um, for now, but it, it'll get worse when we do some of these things. But we'll uh, we'll drop a sanitation building in as well. Um, so let's go down, just uh, look at some of our other provinces. Sanitation here is also good at the moment. And uh, low sanitation means that you're going to be at risk of possibly having disease wreak havoc on you as well. So we may not want to push that any further at the moment. There we go, we can put a public baths here, that'll be very handy. Spahan is in good shape, and we just looked at Cappadocia. I think we are able to end a turn. We do have some skills to assign, so let's see. This gives them uh, public order to the local provinces, which is always nice. This is just give them more authority and campaign movement range, which again, is nice. This one's going to make the construction cost and recruitment cost cheaper. Let's try it, because we did the other with the other general. Jotman. I don't know who this guy is or what he's doing, but um, he's a governor. So let's see if any of these... This one gives plus three defense for... or plus three for infantry recruits. Govern province. Let's uh, maybe drop that in. Not going to make a huge difference one way or the other, but we'll check it out. This guy's also a governor, so... Yeah, tax rate when governor. Let's go ahead and finish that and then drop one in there. And then I have an army that gains some skill. We're going to do the same thing, start trying to make them immune to uh, desert attrition. So let's go ahead and end this. The power of three, huh? Not sure what that awards for. I'll have to go look and see what stuff I've unlocked here. Got a Roman agent making his way to Tyre. Man, my puppet states are absolutely pooping on East Rome. Good for them. Unless that means they get powerful and they want to take me out too. That would be less than pleasant. Looks like Trapezus is going to be in danger of being taken by one of my puppet states as well. Or at least in danger of being raised. Yeah, here it is, Africans suing for peace. Of course. Uh, I'm going to deny this and see if they'll attack me. They won't. So I will attack them since they're going to be a bunch of crybabies. Alright, so someone's trying to obstruct me here. Um, this would take away some influence from Baram if I get this guy... I don't know why we have to do this stupid stuff, so minus 15 influence. Uh, let's just go ahead and decree it. Um, I could get two trapezes in front of these units and take it, and I would honestly probably prefer that. 
rather than letting my client state have it at this point, because sometimes the enemy will raise those to the ground as well. So let's um, let's convert this over. What is this? A lead mine. Uh, we'll go ahead and just mark it for destruction. Ready for orders. Do we have any mercs we can hire up here? Just more Savard and Cataphracts, which really don't need. Uh, this crossbow cab could be handy. Let's uh, let's drop a few of these guys into my army just so again I have something, something else to get shot as we go after the Romans rather than Ready my own troops. Battle. And let's go up here and hit Trapezus before my allies to can get to it. So quite a few Roman units here actually, but uh, let's go ahead and circle and, and maybe my guys will help me out. I'm gonna have bad public order here, but we can deal with that later. Not particularly concerned about it at the moment. And let's uh, see if we can attack the Africans here as well. At your command. All of our troops are in pretty good shape. Integrity of this army is not fantastic because we're out in the middle of the desert because of attrition. Kill them all. Uh, so it's giving giving the Africans a pretty good chance. Uh, they have a lot of numbers, but I've got good troops as well, and feel pretty confident. They are encamped, so they're going to be able to defend an encampment. If I night attack, though, it's going to keep the reinforcements out, which is not much. But it might be better to just go ahead and kill the reinforcements here and now. Let's go ahead and attack these guys and see what we can do. Again, a little bit risky for me to jump into this, but why the heck not, you know? So far we've had a lot of small battles and uh, we'll just see what happens when I can catch a, a larger enemy force here. They have an Onager as well. Let's wait and see if we can not have the fog affect us start deployment. Pretty cool looking map, all deserty and the encampment looks a little bigger as well. These freaking towers are going to be annoying. Okay. Let's just kind of spread out just in case, and let's go into loose formation just in case we're in range of their Onager. Let's get um, our bowmen back here. Pull these guys back. Let's get our Onager up front. Um, so we're really not in good range yet here. We're just outside of the range of their Onager as well. Let's go off fire at will for now. And let's just kind of think through a plan here. Let's put some cataphracts over here, and I'm going to support them with other cavalry units as well. And just to keep some pressure from a different direction, let's run. Let's run some guys from. Let's run some guys in from different directions. Got here is my general, and this is mercenary step raiders. This is a raider unit. Do some supporting over here. Let's just uh, kind of see how this plays out. And let's put my bowmen over here. Start the battle. See where the enemy reinforcements come from first. We've kind of got their fort surrounded. Okay, enemy reinforcements have arrived. Okay, they're coming in from over here. They have a Persian noble cab. I got plenty of spearmen here, though, so let's get in their way. Those almost look hunnic, the step guys there. Uh, let's see, so they're going to try and move their Onager into range. Go ahead and go into flaming shot, target their Onager, see if we can take it out of commission. And we really want to intercept this Persian noble here, because it's got an enemy general in it. And I'll just use my step raiders to make sure it can't outrun me and escape. But we're going to get in their way and crush it. Rapid reload against the enemy Onager. Okay, so I've got shots up. 
Accuracy is probably going to be questionable because it's all flaming shot. AI may get luckier than me. Yep, just like that, immediately taking out one of my things. And I had no such luck, even though I got the first shot. That's one thing I hate about trading artillery fires because there's just no telling. Okay, my step guys are purling some javelins into the enemy cab. That's going to be perfect. And they are now caught by Armenian spears. Let's go off fire at will. These Persian nobles are going to get chewed up pretty bad, I think, by all these Armenian spears. Let's see how the, uh... Yeah, still haven't destroyed any of their equipment. Yeah, they've completely destroyed my Onager unit in a couple of shots. So let's just let their Onager spend the rest of its ammo. That's pretty freaking annoying. These Persian nobles trying to get away, so I'm going to run them down with my, uh... Step Cavalry. Not let them escape. And we're going to get rid of the Persian noble unit there. Alright, and we killed their general. Let's uh, get a hold of these reinforcing spearmen, so we'll just kind of piecemeal this out. They're firing on my Onager continually, and they're almost out of ammo for their own Onager, so the trade will end up being worth it. It was just a mercenary Onager. And as soon as they rally, I'm going to send them straight back up front to take more fire. Pull my Armenian spear back a little more. Okay, my guys are a little tired. Let them catch their breath real quick. They should catch their breath a little quicker in this game, I think. It's kind of like just stopping, giving them a breather real quick. They've got their own Armenian spears heading my way. My guy's now to active, winded. Fresh, here we go. Okay, now counter charge the enemy Armenian spears. Let's double them up front and then bring the step cavalry around to hit them from behind. See if we can crush them. Raiders around, their Onager. Probably still gonna waste its ammo because it'll fire whatever's within range. And let's uh, hit these guys with a couple of quick rear charges. Don't want to stay in combat because these step horsemen are pretty light. So I'll just uh, do this to try and get their morale. See if I lose many horsemen in and out of this. Because raiders could be handy elsewhere. In fact, I'm not going to get any more of those raiders killed. Let's just bring our own Armenian spears around behind. Uh, why do I keep doing this? I forget that I have... There we go. Alright. So their Onager is going to waste the rest of its ammo. Perfect. Their Onager is now on its last shot. They've got their own Persian bows that will be facing me from this direction. Yeah, enemy Onager is going to be dealt with. Let's move our guys up in long, thin lines. And then here our guys are going to come around. They're in like a column formation though, so let's spread them out. Then get into combat. There we go. It says these guys can light stuff on fire because they're raiders. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see how bad our raiders get shot up trying to accomplish this. Let's see if we can burn a few of their towers down to get kind of an entryway. Okay, mercenary onager is completely out of ammo. We can pull up over here and let these guys rest. Let's see how our raider is going to get shot up pretty bad. Let's see how good they are at setting stuff on fire. Wow. Really good. <laughs> I can see the value of these guys in campaign. Very quickly, in fact. That was quick. We're being fired on by these mercenary Persian scouts. Wow. That was awesome. The guys just wheeled up and freaking torched that tower. So, okay, I guess I can see some of the value of raider units. This bodes well. Yes, it does bode well. I'm going to quit wasting ammo over here. 
Uh, actually, no, them firing at those horse archers will be great. Uh, let's move up our own bowmen over here. Let's bring these uh, mounted Persians over here to potentially protect these archers. So yeah, we'll just kind of try and work our way into the enemy fort. That was awesome. Oh man, we got fire spreading over here too. The dynamic fire is going to burn down some of these walls. That's going to give my cataphracts charging capability. It may continue to catch and burn around their walls. That's fantastic. See the flames! The city is ablaze! Yes, it is. So let's get our uh, let's get our raiders in here. Go burn this building down. And let's switch uh, switch our target and try and hit some of these Persian cataphracts real quick. Okay, and let's bring these mounted Persian warriors around here. Get our bowmen. Loose formation. And let's double team these Persian bows here. Let's go into flaming shot. The more we burn, the better. What are you doing? Get over here. Have to watch the pathfinding here. It's getting a little bit wacky. Torch it! Man, these raiders are awesome. We just torched another one of their towers. And their walls are on fire over here. We lost our raiders though, unfortunately, but we did manage to torch their tower in the process. And we're getting some damage done on their Persian cataphracts, which ought to be good. My own bowmen trading fire with their bowmen. Everything I'm shooting is flaming, just trying to lower morale and potentially catch anything else on fire that we can. Let's use these Persian Brigade to see if we can push up here and burn this tower. And then uh, let's use these Armenian Spears to see if we can get up here and burn this one. Ooh, actually, keep the Persian Brigade. With, well, I don't know if these guys are going to live long enough to do another burning, but they've burned two towers already. It's been pretty handy. Men are breaking up. Yeah, we just lost our uh, raiders. It's kind of to be expected. Push up. Destroy all their towers that we can. This will quit giving them free kills. Yeah, we got uh, their. They got more. Oh yeah, look, their forts burned down over here. So we're gonna be able to get uh, cavalry into them. And there's gonna be very little they can do about it. Got other gates burning down over here as well. I'm going to keep these Persian cab just in case, though, these Persian cataphracts try and come after my archers. Burn. And burn. Burn it. Burn it, you fools. Come on, toke it up. Let's go. These guys are not throwing any torches. I may have to push them in closer forcibly. No idea why, but these guys are not torching the tower whatsoever. Let's try pushing up and see if it'll work. Okay, we're getting a lot of damage done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the horse archers back. My bowmen have caused a lot of damage to their units here. Can you torch that thing or not? Got them really close here. It's giving me the ability to torch it, but it's not letting me do it, so apparently this is not going to be worth my time here. So let's just get our guys into combat. Yeah, we're getting a lot of nice, nice damage versus enemy cav over here. And then we're going to be able to run our cataphracts in, I think, and cause a lot of damage as well. free reign back here. I'm just going to leave my archers be. You know what? I mean, if they if they try and kill my archers, so what? That means their cavalry is going to be out of position. My archers have done a fantastic job so far. Just really wrecking a lot of enemy cav. Which has been very helpful. Let's try and wreck these uh, Persian levy here and here. And then let's bring up our own cataphracts for some charges and our own Persian mounted warriors as well. Almost out of ammo with my archers. 
We'll see if we can bust through these Persian levy. These guys have abandoned their posts. They're going to actually let me into the city. My cataphracts are now going to be able to get open charges in these Persian levy. And then they're going to engage. They're going to get a nice charge here with their own cataphracts. Uh, let's engage their general. Let's get a quick charge here. Their general's pulling back. So we should get a nice charge on that Persian levy, and then we'll pull back. Keep pushing against their cataphracts. We got a big blob against us over here. Let's just keep pulling up every unit we've got. My general can come up now as well. The enemy morale is looking pretty shaky. Let's pull back our cataphracts and engage those Persian mounted warriors with my own. Let's pull back away from this. It's not a fight we want here. There we go. Let's pull these Armenian spears over. We're actually getting a breakthrough in the, in the blobbed up area over here. Let's bring these archers in and see if we can come capture anything. Yeah, my guys are doing good. Run! Okay, yeah, Persian mounted warriors. We're going to chase their melee cav. Get into the back of this fight. My own cataphracts can now... Our general is under attack! Yeah, my general's going to take fire from that tower. Never mind. Get away. Oh, yeah, my archers are going to get pummeled. But that's okay. They're going to draw some attention, at least. Let's get away from the tower with the general. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. They do need to rally. Okay, my Persian mounted scouts, other units doing well. We're going to get charged by their shock cap, but we can get into them with their spears here. Let's keep my shock cavalry moving. No real point in charging this mercenary onager, but I'm going to chase down the last of their melee cav with my spears. Got a quick charge there. We're not going to want to stay bogged down here for too terribly long. Let's get our spears into their general. My archers can go finish capturing now. Let's pull our Armenian spears and attack this Persian levy that's coming in from behind us. Okay, we can keep pulling forward here. My own Persian mounted warriors. Come on, Spearman. We've captured the main area, and I'm going to try and run a rear charge real quick against all this engaged uh, African infantry. This is going to crush what's left of their infantry. Got my cataphracts coming in, so I swear that part's going to pay off here having all these cataphracts. Oh, yeah. Going to get a pummeling rear charge on the Africans. That's going to just completely demoralize what few units they have left. Their general is stock engaged with um, spears. And that's it. So we managed to uh, break the African fort. Sweet. Go ahead and end that battle. That turned out well. So a large enemy force against us. Uh, they took you know, almost twice as many losses as we did. Not quite, but definitely a, a good fight. Hopefully that'll give my men some extra integrity as well. And let's uh, actually replenish the units with the guys that surrender so we can overcome some of the losses and the uh, attrition. And I wonder if we can uh, fortify here, which should make the attrition go away and give us a boost to um, yeah, integrity. That's what we need right there. So we'll, we'll go ahead and encamp here. And uh, having given the Africans a good pummeling, and that's going to be, I think, a good point to leave off on this episode. On the next episode, we're going to be able to hit Trapezus. Um, that ought to be fun. Again, the Eastern Romans continuing to just get overrun by assassinated client states. So a lot of fun. Uh, having a good time so far. Hope you'll enjoy it. Eric Carthage, signing off for now.